What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And as the game has been out for a little while, people are starting to figure out there's a lot of different things you can do within the gunsmith. There's a lot of weapons that you can make. There's been a big post on Reddit and some other websites uh, kind of on the internet about people talking about these different weapons you can make. I will link that Reddit post down in the description below if you would like to read over some of these different weapons that you can create within the game. So I give those guys the credit. Uh, I'm just have read over some of these, have seen some of these, have put some of these together myself, but not kind of complete versions like they have. So they, def they definitely get all they get definitely get all the credit for this. But today I want to show you two different variants that you can do with the AK-47. You can make the AK-12 and the RPK, and of course there's a few others you can make along the way. But I wanted to show you these two because these are these two are pretty viable weapons in game in my opinion. So first of all, we're going to look at the AK-12. So what you're going to do, of course, is take the base variant of the AK-47. Now mine, of course, is max level at 68. Some of this stuff does not unlock to till kind of later in the you know unlock cycle within the within the weapon so some of this will be kind of a pain for some people to make if you have not leveled up these particular guns but of course you want to take the smallest barrel available of course that is the very first barrel the elite barrel which gives you damage range and bullet velocity but a reduction in aim down sight speed then you're going to go with the forge tech ultralight stock which is aiming walking movement speed but aiming stability con uh, some other people have used other other stocks for this to make it look like the AK-12, but I think the TAC Ultralight probably does look the best. And then last but not least, you're going to change the ammunition out to the 5.45 times 39 millimeter 30 round mag, which gives you a little bit of a fire rate increase and aiming recoil control, but does kind of knock down the damage and the range. And of course, it only is 30 rounds. So if you're playing something like Ground War, unless you're going to be kind of up pushing kind of close to flags, uh, maybe team deathmatch you're gonna do a little bit of rushing dom you're gonna do a little bit of rushing uh if it's on a larger map this does not have quite the range that you probably would like and the damage the range is not really cut back a lot but with those faster fire rate rounds in there it does hurt you know that kind of damage range that normal quick kill that the ak does have but i really do like this thing at medium to close ranges it, it works pretty well in my opinion so this is one variant like i said of the ak-12 and of course you will have Two different attachments left you have two other slots left you can kind of slap on what you want here you want to run a perk you want to run a rear grip under barrel you know uh, optic whatever you want but that is kind of how you get the ak-12 within the game the other weapon i'd like to talk about of course is the rpk now this is a lmg version that has been in a lot of different games you know kind of an ak but an lmg ak it is more of i guess a lightweight a uh, lmg than compared to most uh, lmgs in the real world um and it handles pretty slow in this game in my opinion but this thing is absolutely amazing in my opinion but it's just that really slow handling speed so what you want to do of course is start off with the 23 inch rpk barrel which is going to give you damage range bullet velocity recoil control of course the cons are going to be aimed down sight speed and movement speed um let me take that off because that's just kind of the extra slot i had there uh the field lmg stock which is aiming stability of course the con is aiming walking movement speed then you want to go with the 75 round drum mag, which of course is going to give you that ammo capacity, but the negatives once again are aim down sight speed and movement speed. And then last but not least, you want to go with the bipod, which is going to give you that crouch prone recoil control. And as you can see, it does look pretty much like what you would think of as an RPK in a lot of games. Now you're going to have that one extra slot. I usually just slap a side on there, like kind of like you saw to begin with when we first, uh, when I first showed you this, you could also take off this and go with maybe like a different grip here you might want to go with a rear grip to speed up the handling just a little bit or perk um, a perk and an optics not bad just kind of depending on what you want but if you want that classic kind of rpk look this is the best way to do it now this weapon does handle very slow it ads is very slow when you move around the map with it very slow but i do think it is better than most of the lmgs in the game when you create it kind of like th that is shown here to me, it's a good weapon when I've been playing ground war with it. I've been playing, I've played some team deathmatch with it. It's just a good weapon to hold areas down. Uh, not really just, I would say, just to flat out camp, but to hold certain areas. You know, you want to be ADS. You don't want to be running around with your gun up and having to pull it back down because you're going to get beat pretty much in every situation, no matter what the other person's using, unless they're using an LMG themselves. So you want, you're going to want to be watching corners, pre-aiming places. And kind of locking areas down uh, it's really good in ground war if you want to lock a certain flag down you can definitely do it with this weapon and this gun is very very good at all ranges 
within the game because it has some serious damage. Like I said, it's just a, a little bit slow on the handling department or in the handling department. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this kind of secret gun setup, I guess you would call it, uh, with the RPK and the AK-12. Of course, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. And if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Share the video if you have the chance. It does help out the channel a lot. Make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. Their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.